Here at Chopform, we know that there is power in the use cases that can exist within AI workflows. Power in the equality that can be given to you by simply augmenting whatever you're doing with a little bit of AI. And lucky for you, in this video, we're gonna dive into how you can actually create a form with the help of Jotform and AI. So we have this really cool feature in Jotform. If you go to the link down below, you'll find that we actually have this Jotform AI form generator. So let me use this as an example real quick. Many times you want to build a form and the templates just don't quite fit. But what you can do here, you can actually create a form by typing in a prompt here. There are some ones that can be clicked here. Like for example, if I want to create a job application form, it could do that. But let's make something more specific. Like I want to build a video intake form for a content services business. Press create form and it's going to go and generate this form in a few moments. All right, and in about 30 seconds that I ended up creating this video intake form, so it took the name that I said. It asked for the person's full name, their email, their phone number, their company name, and then some more project details, which I think is really cool. It asked for a category, so a category of a promotional video or training or testimonial event recap, and then says more like provide a brief description of the video content you need. What's the length of the video? These are all very smart questions to ask as someone who makes videos. What's the target audience? Also very important. What's the deadline? Notice it's smart enough not only to ask these questions, but actually know which of these should be required. So if you see, I click on this in the settings here, this is a required one. That's very cool. Without having some of these required or having them all required, vice versa, just not having it contextually there, we just simply be generating a form. But no, this isn't just generating a form. This is generating a form that contextually makes sense as if somebody made it themselves. As you can see as well, there's a, do you have any specific branding guidelines or requirements? That's always something people ask for when they're creating videos. Do you have any relevant files or examples if applicable? Great. This is great for reference if you're making content. And then any additional notes or comments. So I would maybe add some more to it. Like I would add how many talking points would be in there. I would add probably a bit about company tone and style. So I could add different fields to this. It's not stuck in this, right? I could I could always go and add more. So I could press add element on the side here and um, provide a brief description of what you need. Okay, add a section here, a long text section right here. Type a question and say something like, what is the brand voice and tone for this? Video. And this is another required one, so I'd want to make sure it's set to required. And I could add sub labels like serious, playful, etc. Right? And then when I do this, all I have to do simply after that is press publish. And if I already have an account, I can log into my account. And then boom, I'm in there. If I go back to the build page, you'll see this is the same intake form. So if we go to publish, I'm just kind of copy this link out. Or pro tip, you can always press open a new tab to see it. And that's it. That's the very simple process of creating a form with AI. Now you can still embed this, still share this and use anything else you'd like. And if you wanna make a longer prompt, feel free to go ahead and do that. I'm gonna write a longer prompt to show an example. I could say, I want to build a form that is for help doc videos for SaaS companies. Make sure to include what you think is relevant. Notice it has like 500 characters of space, relevant and also add a section for selecting how many talking points the video would have and then having fill out long text portions for those talking point titles and explanations. Then I'm gonna press create form and as you'll see, it has the context of it being not only a help document video request form, but also adding the whole SaaS company reference here, which I think is really cool. Now, as you'll notice, I asked for multiple fields and it did it. How many talking points would there be? Okay, so I could fill it out and there'd be any number of them. And then there'd be talking about one, talking about one explanation, talking about two title, talking about two explanation, etc. That is exceptional. And notice it only required number one. Why would it only require number one? 
because there has to be one talking point, but the rest of them could be optional. And I can go further inside of this by going into settings, going into conditions, and I could actually do show slash hide field. So if, for example, and I'm gonna change this talking points here to be a single choice so that we can actually get this conditional logic to work. So sometimes there might be some manual work, but really it's not that much. So we can just be like one, two, three, four, five, make sure that's required. Okay, let's go back to settings, let's go to conditions, and then under show slash hide field, we'll do if how many talking points is equal to, and then you could be one, then you would hide, right? All the talking points that aren't one. And you can keep, you know, going through, and it would maybe take a few minutes, but let's just show an example for, for talking title two and talking title, talking point two explanation, right? So say for example, we previewed the form, and now we're to select one here. So notice that's here showing. If I press one here, huzzah, it would go away. And I could do the inverse. I could have it so that it only shows up, right? They could be auto hidden. So by default in the build settings, I could make all of these that aren't number one hidden unless they are actually either two or above. So if I go back into settings, conditions, so if it is equal to, let's just say two, and we can do like show those. Now I'd have to make a lot of this logic. I'd have to be like, if this or this or this, right? But it is a thing you can do. And I just want to show you that it's, it's the case. So now when we go into the preview, by default, two won't be shown. So I press two, boom, it's back. And I'd basically go through and hide all the other ones and go through the same process of making it so that it would show or hide mattering on how many talking points exist. Because um, we don't want them to uh, be over cluttered with this if they don't want to fill it out. So it's a very specific thing, but only that kind of deep level settings and conditions do you really have to set up manually. The rest of that was pretty much automated. And I'm very happy that I was able to do this. And if I want to ask for more, I need to be able to write it out fully in that form AI builder and it will do it for me. With that being said, I hope you try this out. It's a very cool feature we have inside of Jaform if you haven't tried it out already. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you in the next one.